سلام سلام به همه عاطفه هستم تیچر شما و خوش اومدید به سومین ویدیو آموزش زبان انگلیسی با پادکست توضیح این که توی ویدیو جداگانه ای کلمه به کلمه این درسمون ترجمه میشه و امیدوارم که دو قسمت قبلی به همراه ویدیوی ترجمه رو مشاهده کرده باشید بدون مطلی میریم سرغ درس امروزمون فقط قبلش این که اگر که از این سبک ویدیو خوشتون میاد ممنون میشم که چنل من رو در یوتیوب سابسکرایب بفرمایید و با کامنت های ارزشمند و لاینک های گرام به هاتون من رو یاری کنید بدون مطلی بریم سرغ درس امروزمون Getting enough sleep? What happens if you don't get enough sleep? Randy Gardner, a high school student in the United States, wanted to find out. He designed an experiment on the effects of a sleepiness for a school science project, with doctors watching him carefully. Gardner stayed awake for 264 hours and 12 minutes. That's 11 days and nights without sleep. What effect did a sleepness have on Gardner? After 24 hours without a sleep, Gardner started having trouble reading and watching television. The words and pictures were too blurry. By the third day, he was having trouble doing things with his hands. By the fourth day, Gardner was hallucinating. For example, when he saw a street sign, he thought it was a person. He also imagined he was a famous football player. Over the next few days, Gardner's speech became so slurred that people couldn't understand it. He also had trouble remembering things. By the 11th day, Gardner couldn't pass a counting test. In the middle of the test, he simply stopped counting. He couldn't remember what he was doing. When Gardner finally went to bed, he slid for 14 hours and 45 minutes. The second night he slept for 12 hours. The, uh, the third night he slept for 10 and one half hours. And by the fourth night he had returned to his normal sleep schedule. Even though Gardner recovered quickly, scientists believe that going without sleep can be dangerous. They say that people should not repeat uh, Randy's experiment. Tests on white rats have shown how serious a sleepness can be. After a few weeks without sleep, the rats started losing their fur, and even though the rats ate more food than usual, they lost weight. Eventually, the rats died. During your lifetime, you will probably spend 25 years or more sleeping. But why? What is the purpose of sleep? Surprisingly, scientists don't know for sure. Some scientists think we are sleeping in order to replenish brain cells. Or the scientists think that sleep helps the body to grow and relieve stress. Whatever the reason, we know that it, uh, that it is important to get enough sleep. امیدوارم که شنیدن این پادکست هم لذت برده باشید و برای شنیدن پادکست های بیشتر حتما چندل من رو سابسکرایب بکنید و ممنون از اینکه ویدیوهای من رو با دوستان دیگرتون به اشتراک میذارید. تا جلسه بعدی سی یو سون اند بای.